The Burj Al Arab is 321 meters high, slightly taller than the Eiffel Tower. How does it possibly stand on sand without keeling over in the first stiff breeze? Through a remarkably simple scientific principle, in fact. Skin friction is, well, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's the friction between the skin, the surfaces of objects. If I rub my hands together, friction generates heat. I can feel it. Now, ordinarily, skin friction is, it's there, but it's pretty easily overcome. So, two pages together, I can feel the friction between them, but there's not a lot of it. However, if I multiply that effect by as many times as there are pages in these directions, let's see what happens. I'm going to interleave them. Page by page. One. Two. Skin friction is one of the factors that keep the Burj Al Arab standing tall. Four. Mind you, I think they built the hotel in less time than it's taking me to do this. 1,407, 1,408. There we go. All done. Now, according to the theory, the effects of skin friction should have been magnified by as many times as there are interfaces between the pages that I've interleaved. It took a while. I didn't have much else on this afternoon. The only thing is, knowing how long it took, I'm reluctant to test it, but I'm going to. How tough is it? I'm pulling as hard as I possibly can. There's no glue. That is just skin friction. There's no way can I pull those apart. I mean, that is... Honestly, I'm trying as hard as I can. No. I need to try harder. OK, this should be more like it. Obviously, skin friction already doing well just to hold this shackle on. Remember, nothing holding these together, just the friction between the pages. Right, lift it, please. How good is skin friction? I mean, really, how good? Up! Okay. Time to demonstrate, if nothing else, my faith in science. <clears throat> uh, yeah, skin friction. <laughs> that's all that's holding me up and the way to that shackle. Remember, no pins in there, no tape, no nails, nothing. Just friction. And friction is also one of the answers to building on unstable material, even sand. Otherwise, the enormous tower would just topple over. The secret was to use reinforced concrete pile foundations, which are like long nails driven into the ground. They work using skin friction to keep the building in place, even in loose sand. To show how strong pile foundations can be, a simple demonstration. Jar of uncooked rice and a knife. Put knife into rice. That's something called skin friction in action. Skin friction is strong enough to support a 320 meter tall tower on sand. There are six miles of concrete piles bored 43 metres into the sand under the hotel to keep it upright and safe. Think of each pile as a page in the directory. Every one makes the bond stronger. Combined, they make the sand as solid as a rock and keep the building standing tall. <laughs>